everyone, it's Tanya, and today is day 30 of the Marion Smith Challenge. And I have a little tip I want to share with you guys. I have tons of these little scraps that are just laying around in my little pile over here. And I, I've already told you that I really like to make cards. And since I've got six weeks of scrapbook classes and I need to mail a card every week, I thought, well, today's a no-brainer day. I'll just sit and make some cards. So um, I was doing some border punching and I have something that I do that I haven't seen anybody else do. So I just want to kind of share my little tip with you today. Um, this is just a Mar Martha Stewart punch. You could use any border punch for this. Uh, I know I like the Fiskars ones better because they have actually got the center point on the punches marked. And I just got this, this punch. So I don't have this one done yet. So I thought, well, this would be a great opportunity for me to show you guys how to do this. So when I first get my punches, I take them and I measure off the distance um, on, on the blade that's right here. And it's this one is going to be, it's about two and a quarter. So half of that would be two and two eight or one and two eighths. So I just kind of take a pen or some kind of permanent marker or something and I mark that spot. And that's my center point. So I have it marked. And then I also come down and I try to do the same thing on this side. Excuse me, I dropped that. Um, I pull this down, you know, line the ruler up and also mark it here. And sometimes I'll just draw a line all the way down. So I have a center point set on my, on my punch. And then I'll come back down here, line it up and I do it again. Okay, now what this does for me is it gives me a point of reference as to where exactly is the center point of this punch. And it might not be 100% exact, but it's, it's pretty close. I mean, I'm pretty happy with it. So then I have a piece of paper and I don't always wanna measure. I don't know about you guys, but I hate measuring. So I know this fits my card. So I'm gonna pull it over and I'm not I'm not going to um, mark it completely. I'm just going to kind of pinch it just a little bit on this end. And the reason I'm pinching it only on one end is because when I open this back up, I have now got a little slight crease that I can line up with this and push in. And I know that my card is centered. Now, if it's really long piece of paper and you think that you need to, you can always kind of half you know just line it up again pinch it on the other side too so you have a little point of reference for the other side I don't want to fold it completely in half because I want to see I want I don't want to see that mark when I'm done so um, then what I do is I line it up with that line and I and I start punching and I do my first punch and then I pull it to the side or I go ahead and pull it through and do the second punch. And then pull it on, line it up, and do the next punch. And then I come back over here, basically doing the other side. Do that punch, pull it through, and do the next punch. And see what I have here? A perfectly symmetrical punch. Look. This little circle top, uh, on the top, the, bo the bottom has the big circle. Over here, little circle, big, big circle. So I have a completely symmetrical punch. So that's how I do it. And um, that's my little tip for today. Thank you guys for watching. And I hope you enjoy your Sunday afternoon. Tomorrow's the last day of the challenge. Not quite sure what I want to do yet, but um, it'll be fun. Thank you guys. I've had a great time doing this with you. Thanks.